guys, this is your girl Shani, and welcome back to my channel. And today I decided to do something a little bit different. And instead of me being all glitzy and glammy with showing you guys makeup tips and showing you guys how to do your hair and, and what things that I bought, I decided to come on the YouTube and just talk about things that go on in my life and what I deal with. So I'm going to be starting a web series and it's, gonna, it's going to be called... Basically, that is just me talking about any type of topic, no matter what the circumstances is. Most of the topics are going to be related to my life and what I'm going through at the moment. And probably sometimes uh, I'm going to be also talking about stuff that, you know, just pops up in my head. Whether it be pop culture, whether it be um, about music, products, whatever, I mean, whether be me throwing shade at people I don't know I mean I'm just wanting to come to my channel and just talk about things that I want to talk about and just be all very raw and candid so that's what I'm going to be doing so today's video feeling overwhelmed <laughs> feeling overwhelmed is a horrible horrible feeling to feel trust me I know I have a very stressful job I'm an outreach counselor in my local community and I work for a behavioral health agency that deals with people with substance abuse and mental health and trust me sometimes I want to rip out my hair with a lot of the things that I've been endearing but these last couple of weeks, I've been having some stressful cases of people that I had to fix and had to help them get connected with resources. And I got to the point where I got very overwhelmed and I started to cry. I never cried on a job, never cried on a job. And when I had this moment when I cried, it legitimately like tore me up. And it was because of the situation that I had to handle. And so, you know, I try to find ways to help myself get through the stress and not feeling overwhelmed. And it took a while. It did. It took a while for me to kind of understand it. But, you know, now I gotten out of it. And, you know, I had to definitely write down these tips that I used to help myself get through it. Um, so I felt like I wanted to share it with you guys because I mean a lot of people do watch me and I would hope that a lot of the things that I say get to someone and I feel that if I can be that person to you know maybe talk to you guys about you know kind of share with you guys what's going on with me you know maybe I can also help you guys and give you some tips so that's what it is um so here's the things that I use to kind of help my stress and help my my feeling of being overwhelmed go away. I breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's the easiest and freest thing to do breathing helps when you are at that wall and you hit that wall you hit it hard so instead of you keep banging your head in the wall step back breathe and relax it's a way for you to get your thoughts together it's a way for you to understand the situation and it's a way for you to kind of look and see what are the opportunities that can help you conquer the situation. So breathing, first step. Now, we all have different things that comfort us, whether it be food, clothes, going shopping, being with friends, being with the boyfriend, being with the girlfriend, whatever. Comfort yourself. Find something that makes you happy. For me, when I was feeling very overwhelmed and stressed with my with my job, I did the one thing I knew I loved to do, and I'm gonna continue doing it 
until the day that I die. I went out on my break and went shopping. <laughs> I went shopping. I went shopping. Now, I didn't go excessively shopping. I didn't go on a shopping spree. But I did buy a couple of things that I like that keeps me happy. So I ended up buying some shoes, bought me a couple of sunglasses, and that's all. And it actually kind of took the nerves down a little bit. Kind of made me feel a little bit happy, a little bit sane, that I wasn't losing my mind. And that I knew that this was just a momentarily situation that it was just eventually going to blow by. So that's how I comforted myself. But it was a great thing to do at the time that I needed it. Pretty much piggybacking off of number two. Indulge yourself in positivity. Shopping is positive. If it's for you. If it's the thing that comforts you. Maybe it's not. I know for me, when I went out shopping, yeah, it did comfort me. But to indulge myself into positivity, I hang with my girlfriend. I hang with my friend. My friend Tori. That's my bitch. Like, I like the fact that I can hang with her and talk to her about things. And she don't judge me. She sits here and she helps me get through whatever I have to get through. And, you know, at the end of the day, we take a little drink, sip it, and just be about it. And that's my positivity circle. That's what helps me get back to d indulging in the positivity. And also, looking into the situation. Everything has a positive and negative. So you can't sit here and think that everything that you're dealing with is negative is still negative. There is some positivity in something that you're doing. Now, what the negative thing for me in my job is I can't connect people with the resources because the resources are not available. But the positive thing that I'm doing for these people is I'm helping them gain confidence, gain, you know, advocacy to help them and also gaining them some type of comfort to know that someone cares about them especially when they're in that moment when they feel like no one's there i'm there and i'm helping them so i did see the positivity in the negative situation that i was dealing with so indulging yourself in positivity is so important and make sure that you look for the positivity in the situation that you're going through because even though yes it's stressful and it's getting you very overwhelmed there's some positivity to look at it too. So with the positivity things that you found in your negative situation, you take that and you build that. You build that and you make it stronger. So now what I do is when I went back to the situation, I pretty much took the stress about horns, threw it to the side and made sure the positivity of what I was doing was getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And nothing can take me down. Nothing can hold me down when I did that. And I took the situation, like I said, by the horns and I and I conquered it. And it felt great. It felt amazing to know that I finally got over it and I got through it. And I ended up feeling even more better than way even before. I mean that was the point, right? So you know, that's what I did. And then my last step is just 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 know that that situation, you handle it, it's taken care of, it's done. Now it's time for you to go on and do something new. Do something better. And that's what I did. I helped the person get into some some housing. I helped this person get into some employment. And now it's time for me to conquer a whole nother thing. And that's how life is in general. You know, you can't just think that everything that you're going to be doing in life is going to be easy. Maybe some things might be a little bit easier than others, but there will be some things that will get you very overwhelmed and stressed. And you can't run away from it because it's still going to be there. So you have to conquer it and, and, you know, come back, get in the huddle, get your game plan going, and handle it. And so those are the tips that I used. I hope these tips can be helpful for somebody out there. Um, and I like that I'm talking to you guys about what I go through. <laughs> if you guys have any tips or any hints that how you can deal with stress or how you can get over, um, get over a feeling very overwhelmed, 
put them in the comment box below. I want to hear you. want to know what's, what's been going on. And if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about, please drop those in the comment box too. Because I would love to talk about those things. Okay? So, on another video, I'll catch y'all later. And I'm about to throw my shade. You don't want to sit here and just take any old picture because your chest wants to be thrown out there. No. No, 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 no. Now, if you want to go sit there and get all your likes seen and all of that crap because you got your tits out, your ass hanging out your pants, then be my guest. But that's not a selfie. That's you just want to just take pictures of your, of your breasts and think people will be like, oh my gosh, she has a pretty nose.